Hello world. One of the largest stresses on all of us right now is the petrochemical industry. There's a foreign dependency problem, there's an environmental stress, and there's the, the stress of the cost of the stuff. Um, and I think I have a solution for it, actually, even though I don't think it'll ever be put in place because it involves money coming from somewhere the president wouldn't want it to come, and that is out of his own pocket. Um, I would say cut congressional, cabinet, presidential, and vice presidential pay uh, by $20,000 a piece. And I know that sounds a bit heartless to the legislative branch and the executive branch that would be overseeing and uh, passing this bill that I am hypothetically proposing. But the fact is, they all make more than $150,000 a year, even at their lowest levels. Most of them have private fortunes from other business interests and other business interests in the form of stocks and bonds and other liquid assets. Um, these are not poor people, and they would all still be making more than $100,000, most of them still more than $150,000, which is more than I and probably most of the rest of you live on anyway. And uh, this would create $11,040,000 to create a foundation, which would be a small operation, mostly uh, an inspection firm and an accounting firm to distribute funds to private companies, car companies, and farmers, and transport companies, and uh, gas companies, uh, sorts of things to produce and distribute biodiesel, which is soybean oil, corn oil, basically any oil that can be produced from plants. We have lots of farmland in the U.S., especially in the Midwest, that is no longer particularly profitable. If we take this money and endow them and endow other companies to convert their interests towards biodiesel, while at the same time installing a 3% tax on U.S. produced petrochemicals to endow the foundation and a 6% tax on uh, the import of petrochemicals to endow the foundation, um, we could really produce waves and most people really wouldn't have to change too much about the way they live their lives. I don't know what other problems might be produced by the biodiesel industry, but frankly we can address them when they arise. But I don't think this is going to happen, partially because of where the funds are coming from, partially because if I were a person with 400,000 shares in a shipping company that's connected to Shell Oil, I wouldn't want to bother changing my stock somewhere else, changing my interest somewhere else when I've been turning a profit with Shell Oil for the last 35 years. And these are the people that are in power right now, because society is always involved in evolution, from Mott and Bailey castles to uh, stronger stone structures. It's all beside the point. Society needs to evolve beyond this Stone Age petrochemical industry, because it's hurting everyone involved. And we need to do something that would endow the economy of America. Because right now, our economy is being destroyed by taking all our money and throwing it elsewhere. Anyway, from the whole damnation, peace and pieces.